Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how a timer relay works and should be wired up. These are the components I will be using to demonstrate the video. I got a blue lamp for indication. A timer relay. A blue push button connected to a normally open contact block. And a power supply. Before we start wiring, we will go through a little how the timer relay is built up and how it works. If we look at the side of the timer relay, we can see how it should be wired up. A1 and A2 is the terminals that will trigger the coil. To terminal 15, we can wire up the incoming current to the switch of the relay. And terminal 16 is the normally closed terminal and terminal 18 is the normally open terminal that will let the current go through once the coil trigger the switch. The coil tolerates from 24 voltage up to 240 voltage AC or DC. And the time we can set the relay to range from 0.05 seconds up to 10 minutes. If we look at the front of the relay, we can see that we can set our time range and for how long time it should be counting. It can be changed with a small screwdriver. From my power supply, I am using two WIGO connectors, one for the 24 voltage plus and one for the 24 voltage minus. First, I will connect the A2 terminal on the timer relay to the 24 voltage minus WIGO connector. From the 24 voltage plus WIGO connector, I will wire to the normally open contact block. Then from the contact block to the A1 terminal on the timer relay. Now I will connect terminal 15 to the 24 voltage plus WIGO connector.
Next, I will wire up my blue lamp. From terminal 18 on the timer relay, I will wire up one cable to the lamp, and on the other side it will go to the 24 voltage minus WIGO connector. Now everything is wired up. Let's test out how the timer relay works. When I push the button, the relay will stay on for the time I set it to and go off once the set time is reached. I will now try to wire up the lamp to terminal 16 instead of 18. It is the normally open terminal. And then test it out and see how it differentiate from the previous wiring. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.